Hi, I'm uh, Packy Wheeler with Bell Helmets. We're here at the Indy Pro Shop. And we're gonna walk through the uh, building of uh, an 8860 HP 77 Bell Helmet, which is what uh, the majority of our IndyCar drivers wear. This helmet here is in shell form. This is Kyle Kirkwood's 2023, his first helmet of the year. And uh, as you can see, this is, came back from paint. This is made out of aerospace carbon. Uh, higher grade than a standard weave. Shells come to us here in the States. They're sent out to a painter. They're painted just like this. They come back in and then the building process starts. So basically we start with putting carbon fiber tape around the bottom. We'll put a little piece of material in here to hide where the ballistic panel has been molded into this helmet. We will then come in and put the eye port rubber around the front edge. We will tip it over and we will take screens like this and they will get glued in just like that. Uh, the next step would be to take the liner, which is the piece that basically encapsules the head. That gets inserted into here, it gets rotated and then set. And then once it's flush, we go ahead and we take a torch like this with an awl, it gets heated and we go down through the top of the helmet to relieve the air holes. This is where the uh, air intake goes over and covers and pushes the air in. These are the two exhaust pieces. So this is where the air comes out. Um, from there, after the interior is put in, that gives you the center part of it. We go in and we will take pieces like this here with our chin straps. The chin straps get pressed in hydraulically with a certain amount of foot pound torque and we will put them in. Uh, after that, we go ahead and we come in and we put the face pieces in to complete the interior. There's a drool cup that comes across here. And then we put the Hans clips in, such as these here. And these get inserted into here. We go ahead and we take all of the gaskets that fit around uh, the nut certs here that these are the mounting screws for the visor. These are the tension holes for the visor that creates the up and down movement and the tension. And this is the lock pin. All of those are adjusted and then tightened up. And then at the very end, we will put on any arrow pieces and or the uh, air intake system for the top. And then it's ready to, ready to go.